Hello, it's Monday. It's Joe from Emily Cat 176. And uh, if you looked at my my Friday video or the one I went to put out yesterday, my waiting for the show, because that's always really good when I'm waiting for a show. Uh, I said I would talk about the show I saw on Friday. So I went to the Frankston Arts Centre. This is, uh, for those of you overseas, this is one of the suburban art centres we have here in Melbourne. All of them have a program called Morning Melodies. And, well, yes, there's one show at 10.30 in the morning, but there's also the same show at 1.30 in the afternoon. So, But it's still classified as Morning Melodies. And you can see some really good acts in these programs. And I saw a very good show on Friday called I Love Paris. Now, I bought the ticket and then I didn't remember what it was about. I wasn't, I wasn't sure what I was going to expect. So, um, what the show was, was all about French culture, French composers um mind you oh, well, i'll talk about that when i get to it but so they started off with because there was a pianist called william schmidt now he is actually a constant pianist a very good pianist he was very good the soprano was alison jones wonderful singer apparently based in um london for a lot of years and has come back she's got a wonderful voice wonderful voice and chris mckenna he was the compare but he also sang as well so they started the program with claude debussy i didn't know who claude debussy was because i'm sitting there and i'm thinking claude debussy i don't know that name and the first a uh, piece that William Schmidt played, Girl with the Flaxen Hair. I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, no, I don't. I don't know who this is. You know, I don't know this music. Well, then the second song he played from Debussy was Claire de Luna. As soon as he started it, I thought, oh, I know that one. I know that one. I think it's actually used in a lot of advertising, but I do know that song. So I thought, yes. I have heard his music before. Claire de Luna, it's a beautiful song, a beautiful song. So they also in this program included Frédéric Chopin. Now Frédéric Chopin is Polish. He was born in Poland and he lived there till he was 18. But he was included in this show, and this is what they explained to us, because he lived his adult life life in France it wasn't a long life because he was gone by the time he was 39 but again I recognized his music and I like Chopin's music and of course you know this is it's all played on the piano and as I've said to you I'm learning the piano so I think you know I sit there and I think mm, maybe one day I can play these pieces you know I, well I hope anyway so, yeah, they had Chopin. They had um, they had uh, a few songs from Les Miserables because, of course, that musical was created by a French composer and a French uh, lyric person. Uh, Edith Piaf, of course. They didn't. She didn't sing the uh, you know je ne. No, oh dear, I'm terrible with accents. Uh, no regrets. You know that song, Je ne regret. Je... Yeah, I think that's what, it, yeah, what it's called. She didn't sing that one, but she sang a few other songs. Uh, La Via Rose. And I've actually heard that recently, that La Via Rose. So really lovely songs. Uh, they also sang songs from... The early cabaret, because, you know, the early cabaret started in Paris with Chat Noir, which is, you know, the black cat. 
I don't know if it still goes. We've got Paris Cat, of course, here in Melbourne. And um, that's a jazz club. So this one, he was... Because Chris McKenna actually um, gave a, a bit of a, a speech about, you know, each artist. So he, they sang... He um, William played some songs from there as well. So it was really... It was a really good show. And as I said, beautiful music beautiful music I've said to you before I never liked classical music when I was younger I thought it was boring but I'm really liking it now and Chopin oh it's beautiful just beautiful music he was such a good musician and I said he was gone by 39 but it's a bit cheeky, I think, to include that because he was actually Polish. <laughs> and I noticed they showed a photo of his grave in, um, I think it's in Paris. And they had the two flags there. They had the French flag and they had the Polish flag. And I thought, well, fair enough, because he was actually Polish. So this is the sort of shows you can get with Morning Melodies. And if you just hang on for a minute, I haven't got this thing again. Just, just... Stay there. I'm back. Sorry about that. <laughs> I wasn't organised. So while I was there, because this is, so this is the program. Now this one, it's for the second half of the year. Series 2. So that's from August to December. But this is you can either buy them as four shows or five shows, or you can you can um, buy them individually. So they have got some enchanted evening, Tenori, Nina Simone, a musical life, Runaway Diva. Now Runaway Diva, Antoinette Halloran, her name is. She is a soprano. I'm actually, I think, I'm seeing her in Sweeney Todd in September. Victorian Opera is putting on a production of Sweeney Todd, which we are, I'm going to with a friend. We were talking about it today. And I think she is, you see a picture there? That's her. I think she's in that. So, and then they've got a Christmas special. I don't tend to go to the Christmas specials. They don't really interest me. But Some Enchanted Evening, of course, is Rogers and Hammerstein. Tenori, uh, there's a group here in Australia called the Ten Tenors. And these three gentlemen, there's three, there's three, they were, I don't know if they're still in it, but they were part of... Uh, the the ten tenors and of course Nina Simone oh what a voice she had what a voice so um, Bonnie Lee Galea and her jazz quartet it sounds good doesn't it really sounds good so this is the thing this is and I said to you before that we're so lucky with our suburban art centers and even the art center well, it's closed now, but before it closed, the big art centre in the city, they had a morning melodies program as well. And it doesn't matter what time of the day you see a show. I don't think, because I, I really don't think the performers do anything less at 10.30 or 1.30 compared to 7.30, 8.30. And I went to... Uh, I went to the one thirty performance on Friday. The crowd loved it. It was a nearly four, nearly four. They loved it, and like they had a singing along with uh, Frere Jaca. I've got such a bad voice. I sort of whispered so no one could hear me. But um, they got the the, the crowd involved, and they said beautiful music, and I am really loving really loving seeing and hearing all the pianists you're sitting there thinking one day 
one day it might be me. No, no, it won't be. But, you know, one day I might be able to... One day I might be able to play Claire de Luna. Beautiful, just a beautiful melody. This just, oh, it was just beautiful. So, yeah, that was it. There are two more in the program this for the, uh, the first series. I'm going to both of them. Practically Perfect and Wildflowers. So I've got tickets for those. So, yes, it was a good day because it was a really good day show Alison Jones as the soprano oh she's got a beautiful voice absolutely beautiful voice and Chris McKenna he I have seen him compare not compare but you know MC shows there but he also performs so all in all and I did notice, because uh, William Schmidt, he has his own website, and it tells you the... I looked at it on the uh, Saturday, which was yesterday. Um, no. Yesterday was Sunday. I'm losing track of days. <laughs> Sorry. No, I looked at it on the weekend. I looked at it on the Saturday. And um, he's performing in other morning melodies, because I can tell by the names of the shows, because as you know... Each week I look at what's on and I've seen the shows coming up. So, I mean, that's employment for him as well. So, yeah, let me know if you have these sorts of art centres where you live. Or is it just we're so lucky in Melbourne? As I said, we've, we've got four or five. And they put on such wonderful things. Like the round. The round this past week had three sold out shows so th uh, this is why I didn't put them on the rounds what's on you know because what's the point I, I wouldn't put on a, a, a um, sold out show because you can't get tickets anyway but this is it this is what I keep saying and I know you're probably sick of it but the arts are thriving and they are thriving in the suburbs which is what I love so that's it as I said wonderful day wonderful show and I'm looking forward to the other two and I think I will be going to one two three four of these as I said not the Christmas special but I will I think I will do four of those along with everything else <laughs> As you know, I love the arts and I just I love looking at all sorts of stuff. So, all right. So enjoy the rest of your day and have a good week. And I will be back on Wednesday for Melbourne Arts. Okay, bye.